James came by the office today. Really? Yes, I apologized to him for all my wrongs towards him. I felt pity for him. He told me to take care of you. He really loves you. Hmm, that's nice. I'm just glad all these troubles are over. I can now beat and go out freely, not having to watch my back. Yeah, babe. There's a big confession I have to make. And whatever decision you make afterwards, even if it's working out of this marriage, I would not stop. Now you're scaring me. I hope you didn't pity James to an extreme and promise to leave me for him. No, not at all. What is it then? I am impotent. I will never be able to give you kids. <laughs> Stop making expensive jokes there. That's not funny at all. I am serious. Wait, are you doing all this because you feel pity for James and want to make me leave you for him? Is that it? No, dear. It's the truth. Well, I don't believe you. Ever since we got married, you wanted kids. And even fought me over it when I said I didn't want any yet. Now you're telling me you're impotent. Please, I'm not in the mood. Darling, I am not joking. I also found out just recently. I didn't know this fact prior to our wedding. What? You're actually serious? Yes, I am. If I had known power, I would never have gotten married to you. It was as a result of the accident I was involved in. The doctor only informed mom and she never told me until after the wedding. But that is wickedness. How could she do that to me? If I was her daughter, would she be happy about something like that? I understand completely. You have every right to be hungry. If you don't want to continue this marriage, I totally understand, dear. And I won't stop you from leaving. But please, don't be hungry at my mother. She was scared my father would disown me because the circumstances then wasn't favorable. Still, she shouldn't have hid it from you. She should have let you make your decision. I am apologizing on her behalf. Please forgive her. So what do we do now? Can it be treated? Corrective surgery? Anything that could fix it? I don't think so. And I am very sorry I dragged you into the mess of my past. I would not object to whatever decision it is you make. You are my husband. And it was an accident. It could happen to anyone. Besides, you didn't know it wasn't your fault. I'm going to stand by our wedding vows. There is nothing impossible with God like what you once told me. I'm not going anywhere. Are you saying you will remain in this marriage, knowing for a fact that you will never have a child with me? I told you already. Marriage is not all about kids. Not all married people have kids. Love, understanding, tolerance and lots more is what makes a relationship thrive and not children. Most couples have children but end up divorced. Hmm. You are right, my dear. I must have done something really good to deserve such an angel like you. Knowing you has brought tremendous change to my life. Even if I die tomorrow, I would have no regrets and I would love you to live your life happily. You deserve all the happiness in the world. I love you so much. I love you too. And you are not dying. We will grow old together. And this will remain our little secret. You have covered my shame. Thank you so much, my love. Doctor, what is wrong with me? Am I dying? What caused my bleeding? Sir, but I told you your wife needs to be careful, especially with the usage of drugs, as it could affect her pregnancy. I told her, but she wouldn't listen. She didn't believe she could be pregnant. I didn't even know when she got the drug she took. Doctor, am I truly pregnant? I am 50. How can I be possibly pregnant? Yes, ma'am, you are pregnant. So it is true. I didn't take my husband seriously. I thought it was one of his jokes. Oh no. Have I lost the baby? Was that the cause of the bleeding? Yes and no. Doctor, what do you mean yes and no? Well, sir, the scan revealed that your wife here was carrying a set of triplets. But we have lost one of the fetus as a result of the drugs she took. But luckily, we have the remaining two intact. So she will be placed on bed rest and watch closely to ensure we don't lose the remaining two. Honey, did you hear him? I currently have two babies in my room. This is unbelievable. A miracle of God. Oh my God. You are the God of possibilities. You decided to smile on me at 55. I will be a proud father of twins. Oh, thank you so much. I will excuse myself now. I need to attend to other patients. Congratulations once again. Thank you, doctor.
Honey, congratulations to us. Now you see why you should stop self-medication. Thank God, two out of our three babies are unharmed. Yes, honey. I am so sorry for not listening to you and Mary, our son. Henceforth, no more self-medication. I will seek the doctor's diagnosis and prescription. For the slightest discomfort. Welcome, my children. Why didn't you inform us you both were visiting so we will prepare your favorite? Don't bother yourself, mom. Cindy and I just wanted to surprise you. Besides, we hurt before we left the house. Oh, thanks, dear. I was kind of feeling lonely. I'm glad you two thought to pay me a visit. You have taken care of us enough. Just relax while we take care of you, mom. Yes, mom. You have spent your entire life taking care of me. Now it's my turn to return the favor. I was just performing my motherly duties there. Mom, have you heard of surrogacy? Surrogacy? No. What is it about? Is it a movie? No, Mom. It is the process where a woman helps another woman who has difficulty carrying a pregnancy to term carry it to birth. Okay, but is that even possible? Who would then be the child's mother? No, Mom. The embryo which is being planted is actually that of the parents. The surrogate mother just helps to carry it to maturity. Okay, so how do you intend doing me a favor with that? Mom, Cindy and I have thought deeply on how we can say thank you to you for all your sacrifices over the years. So we decided Cindy surrogates for you and dad. What? No, never. I'm too old to have a child anyway. Cindy, dear, you just got married. Please, I know you love me, but you should concentrate on having kids of your own, not siblings. No, mom. I want to do this. It was my decision and my husband doesn't object either. Besides, I want siblings. I want a little sister. No, Cindy. Your father wouldn't even agree. Just forget it, please. You two should give us grandchildren, not siblings. Mom, we can't have children. I was involved in an accident some years back and it affected my potency. Yes, Mom. Please, let us do this. If you agree, that wouldn't be a problem. He loves children a lot. Please, let me do this for you. You are not that old. You are still in your late 40s. As it is, I can't give you and dad grandchildren. This is the least I could do for you. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Henry. Cindy, dear. I'm now proud of you now more than ever. I'm sure God will give you two children. There's nothing impossible for God. All hope is not lost. Thank you so much, my children. As you have thought to make me happy, God will make you happy. I love you so much, sweetheart. I love you too, mom. Good day, sir. I am sorry I couldn't make it yesterday. I had a job interview. It's all right. I have an offer for you. As you know, Cindy is my only daughter. And she is presently surrogating for her mother. She needs complete rest. At least for the entire first trimester. So I need someone to assist at the company until she can resume work. If you would be interested, you can submit your CV and resume immediately. Wow. Cindy is a sweet soul. She's always looking out to make others happy, not minding how inconvenience it may cause her. She takes after her mother selfless and kind. Sir, I must commend you. You are very lucky to have an amazing daughter, Cindy. Yes, I bless God every day for blessing me with an angel. Pattern your offer, sir. I am very much interested and will fill in for Cindy until she is fit enough to resume. Okay, thank you. I want you to do your best and show me you are more than capable to run a company, if given the opportunity. I promise not to disappoint, sir. I'll put in my very best. Good. I love the fact that you have decided to have a fresh start. Honey, your food is ready. Good day, ma. James, how are you and your mother? We are both doing very well, ma. Thank you. James here would be taking over from our daughter, Cindy so she can have her much required rest okay that's great i'm beginning to worry about the stress she puts herself through not to worry ma 
I'll put in my best so she won't have to worry anymore.